let me give you one aspect of faith and this is something i must continue to remind myself of this as well when you pray for something don't doubt believe it has already happened even when you don't have it even when you can't see it even when you don't have evidence of it believe that you have it believe that it has already happened there may come some times where bad things happen bad things that goes against what you are praying for for an example let's say you are praying for a random example a new dog and let's say obtaining a new dog is very very difficult let's say you have been filling out applications going over here going over there to try to get a new dog and everywhere you go all the applications that you have been filling out you have been constantly you are denied each time let me say it in that way so in this sense you are receiving evidence that your attempts of obtaining a new dog like you may not ever get it you may not ever get it you may begin to doubt and think to yourself that you may not ever get it even though your applications to obtain a new dog have been denied each time even though you have failed in your many attempts to obtain a new dog do you know what i am going to say still believe that you have the dog even though you don't have the dog even though you have been denied many times this is faith believing you have the dog even though you have been denied so many times not allowing what you see or heard to sway you away from your belief for what you are praying for that is faith let me give you another example marriage you may want to get married so much so badly let's say you are a woman and you want a husband and let's say that you have encountered quite a bit of men and it may seem like you will never get a husband because you know you may not see marriage material in some men not saying that you are looking for extremely high standards let's say you have realistic standards when it comes down to trying to find a husband let's say you believe in god and you have faith in him and let's say that uh you have prayed to God many times for a husband. In this case here, faith is believing you have the husband even though you are not married. You are not living with the man. I really hope this makes sense. If I have what I prayed for why do I need faith to get it I already have it so why do I need to use my faith for something I already have why do I need faith in getting a dog when I have the dog why do I need to use my faith to get the car when i have the car i have to use faith for something i don't have so with faith i am believing i have it even though i don't have it 
in a natural sense. This may seem very complicated, but it is not to me, I guess. There are some things that I pray for. Let me make this personal a bit. With some of the things I pray for, at least one of them, like I believe I am receiving so much evidence that I won't get what I prayed about. I have to ignore that evidence. I have to pay no mind to it. Even though I am receiving evidence that my prayer won't get answered, I can't pay attention to it. I have to keep on believing that I already have it when I don't have it in the natural. Since I don't have it, I have to use faith. If I had it, I don't have to use faith. So right now I am believing I have it, even though I don't. I pray this is making sense. Demons may come to your mind and tell you in your thoughts that it is not going to work out, that you can't get it, you might as well give up, you might as well turn back to sin, you might as well do bad things to get what you want. You have to ignore those thoughts. You have to believe that you have it even though you don't have it. You may think this concept is very crazy. Crazy. You may believe a person is being delusional. It really doesn't matter what you think. What matters is what the Bible says. Let's go to Mark 11, verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever, soever, ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. So what do you think this is saying? It is pretty much saying what I have been explaining. When you pray for something, even when you don't have it, believe that you have it. Even when you don't have it, believe that you already have it. Kevin, it doesn't make any sense. I showed you the scripture. Are you going to believe in your thoughts or are you going to believe in the word of God? You can't really think of something that is supernatural as natural. If you think with a natural mind, you are not really going to understand the supernatural. And let me say this. The word of God is true. There are some things that happened to me in my life. This is one of the reasons why I know God is real. This is one of the reasons why I know the word of God is true. Am I saying I am perfect? No. Am I saying I am better than you? No. Anyways, let me stop here. May God bless us.